L-O-V-Z NBA Talk. Like, share, subscribe. Been chilling on the hiatus. Going to kick back some more videos anyway. Christmas yesterday. The Lakers won 127-101. Crushing the Warriors. Despite losing LeBron James in the third quarter to a growing injury. The Lakers were still able to play great defense and hold the Warriors to another bad shooting game and also hold one of their big three, Klay Thompson, to five points and two for seven shooting. And it was a great performance all around by the Lakers who led all the way through the game. And I mean all the way through the game. Being up as much as 15 at the half. Now, when LeBron went down, the Lakers uh, were in, seemed to be in trouble because they were coming back. But, nope, the Lakers uh, kept it afloat now. None of the Warriors had great nights, though. Uh, Kevin Durant did have 21, but he was 5 for 13 and 3 for 8 from 3. Steph Curry only had 15 but was 5 for 17 overall and 2 for 8 from 3. Like I said, Clay was 2 for 7 from the field, 1 for 3 from 3 with only 5 points. Draymond Green had gotten early foul trouble like Clay, I mean like Steph did, and was 2 for 7 from the field, missed all his three-pointers, and had four turnovers, five rebounds, five assists, and three steals before he fouled out. Uh, LeBron had 17, 13 boards and five assists, while Kyle Kuzma added 19. Ivaka Zubic had a double-double with 18 and 11. Rondo had a double-double off the bench, 15 and 10 assists. Brandon Ingram had 14 points. Josh Hart had 12. And Lance Stevenson had 11. So a lot of this was the Lakers bench, and KCP even dumped in nine. So... When you look at the all-around performance, the kids grew up last night. And um, if you're a Laker fan, you really should have been proud, especially the way that uh, the team responded when LeBron went out because undoubtedly you thought they was going to fold. Now, Lance Stevenson gave us 11 points. In 11 minutes for some of y'all who could see um, some of the uh, stats. I'm going to go a little bit more into it. Like LeBron was 6 for 11 from the field, 5 for 8 from the line with 13 boards, 5 assists, and 1 steal before he went out. Kyle Kuzma was 6 for 14 from the field, 2 for 6 from 3 with his 19 points. Five for seven from the line. He had six boards, one assist, only one turnover. No defensive stats. We ended up with 30 minutes for Ivica Zubic, who was playing in relief of our guy uh, JaVale McGee. And he was nine for ten from the field last night with his 18 points. Had 11 boards and two assists and two blocks. Only one turnover. Brandon Ingram was four for nine from the field, but he played great defense and had 14 points, one for three from three, five for six from the line, with two balls, two assists, only two turnovers. Lonzo, the symbolic, played 24 minutes, had, he was two for six. From the field, one for four from three, one for two from the line. I think I seen the only free throw he shot. Three boards, four assists, two turnovers. Tyson Chandler never gives you any points off the bench, but he always gives you boards, four boards, and two steals defensively. And he played 15 minutes. Josh Hart gave us 12 off the bench, four for nine, shooting two for six from the three. Perfect from the line, two for two, one rebound. Got to work on those turnovers. One turnover, but a block and a steal defensively. Rondo, six for 11 from the field, 15 points, one for three from three, two for two from the line. 
Whoa. Five boards and 10 assists. No turnovers. KCP, nine points, four for six off the floor, one for three from three, three boards, one assist, one steal. And Lance, in 11 minutes, was four for six, 11 points, three for four from three, one board, making them disasters. And Svi, call it, whatever. Six points, two for two from three. For the first time, he was good from three with his brick in the ass. Now, the problem I saw with uh, other things was Iguodala led the way for Gold State. He was nine for 12 from the field, which is good. You like to see he was three for five from three, two for two from the line, five boards, four assists. But he was the leading scorer with his 26 minutes off the bench. Steph, 5 for 17, 29% from the field, 2 for 8 from 3. Three free throws, one board, five assists, one steal. Clay with five points. Looney, 10, five for nine. You don't like the fact that Looney shot more than Clay Thompson, who was two for seven with three boards, three assists, two turnovers with his five points. You don't like the fact that Draymond Green shot as much as Clay. You don't like the fact that Alfonso McKinney was two for ten off the bench and he shot more than Clay Thompson. You don't like that Sean Livingston and Jonas Urepko took as many shots as Clay Thompson. And the Lakers with this win are able to move. Let's see where they move. I'm going to hope that my recording don't stop. People, we're going to give you this before we end this video. Yay. So that moves the Lakers to 20 and 14. That moves the Lakers to 20 and 14. And drops the Warriors to 23 and 12. They're still sitting in second behind the Nuggets. And that moves the Lakers up to fourth past the Clippers and the Blazers who lost last night to the Jazz. So we'll talk about that in the next one. Let's see if the Lakers can uh, sustain ground on this win that they picked up because they only five for five in their last ten. One LVZ, man. I'm out.